the hood blogger, man. SV Twitch. Y'all already know how I carry it on this channel, man. Shout out to everybody that been rocking with the content. If you're new to the channel, man, feel free to sub, bro. You know what I'm saying? I got a lot of different content on the channel. I do interviews. You know, I'm, I'm in the filmmaking and all of that. You know, I blog the city of Philly. But, you know, just to get straight on topic, man, I got some unfortunate news, man. C. OBH, bro. Philly's own was shot in the face, man. You know, he basically dropped the post on the gram and was pretty much explaining, you know, that he got shot before in the past or whatever, but, you know, he never been shot in the face. What I can say is, you know, he looks to be in stable condition. You know, um, it's hard to tell with, with, with gunshots and, and bullet wounds because, you know, I know people that been shot and get out the hospital and still deal with difficulties. So, um, I just want to, you know, send my condolences out to see that throw ball, man. Um, I actually just had an interview. I did two interviews with him, but I just did a joint probably like a couple months ago with him and Razor, you know, and they, they tapped in and, and, you know, we had a, a great interview and also Kate Walker tapped in also, you know, so, you know, um, my condolences to C Dot, bro. Get well soon. You know, um, I'm pretty sure that nobody probably is going to talk about this on YouTube or whatever. You know, but me being from Philly, me being a hood blogger, um, you know, I like to keep the, the streets updated on, on everything that's going on. So he's definitely in the hospital right now and he seems to be in stable condition. Um, from the patches and the things that's on his face, it seems as though he got shot in his jaw area, but it's like he got, as y'all gonna see from the thumbnail or the, you know, the picture, I'm just dropping in the, in this video, the actual posting, um, it looks as though that the bullet like went through like his jaw, you know, I'm not sure if they just had him patched up like that, but like both sides of his jaw is patched up um fr you know from the looks of things obviously you know it didn't go nowhere near his brain and nothing like that so um definitely definitely that's a blessing that you know he's not that he's conscious that he's not you know in a coma or, or anything like that you know getting shot in the face is, is very traumatic man and this just goes back to, it's crazy because I was just running the stream last night talking about, you know, AR and, and OBH and just how things been coming back to back, you know, for their whole team. You know, they, they had the city on smash. They had the whole world tuned in to the city of Philly. I think they was the, not I think, they were the biggest movement after state property in the city of Philly as far as carrying it how philly people carry it all day you know it was no you know what i'm saying it, it wasn't like it is today with the music and all of that like you know it was more originality you know you, you nowadays like it don't matter where you from new york philly wherever you know the music all sound the same it's like really no separation you can't really tell the difference you know so uh me being the big supporter of obh music and I know it's a lot of OBH supporters out there. It's just that when Ab got booked, after the whole paperwork and all of that and, and the, the, the trial updates, after he got sentenced, you know, it obviously, you know, everything faded to black once he chose to, you know, stop doing interviews and things of that nature. But, you know, that's why I did the live on... Um, you know, Shaw Money, you know, when he got his life taken after being released from jail. And now I'm updating the streets and the fans, you know, about C Dot and his condition. So make sure y'all go show him some love on the gram, you know what I mean? Whether y'all gonna DM him or, or comment under his his post and all of that, God's willing he pull through and get the get back in straight condition how he was before he went in. And most importantly, God's willing, he stays safe when he get out of the hospital because 
the streets of Philly, man, it's, it's a war zone, bro. And it's just been a lot going on, period. We just lost PNB Rock as far as the city of Philly, man. We just lost PNB Rock. You know, now C Dot, you know what I'm saying, got, got shot in the face. And obviously it was in our own city, so it just goes down, period. It don't matter if you in LA, Miami, New York, Baltimore, Chicago, wherever. You know, anything can happen at any given time. So most importantly, God's willing C Dot get to get out of the hospital and continue to be safe. Um, one of the main things every time i talk to see dot on the phone or whatever and i'd be like yo bro like i'm saying like what's up like with the music and all of that man like it's like you just you you faded the black seriously like and this was he faded it's like it felt as though that he faded to black before ab and them had even got booked and if y'all don't if y'all for some reason is not familiar with c dot um c dot was like one of Leek Moss's, you know, biggest brothers that he was pushing because him and Moss, they was upstate together. Um, Dot was hot in the jail. Him and Moss, they had a relationship, a friendship inside the state pen. Moss come home first, and they still, a lot of times when you locked up with people, it's like people are like, yeah, I'm going to holler at you when we, when we touch the bricks and all of that. And... Sometimes it don't happen, but sometimes it do happen. And that's was Leek Moss and, and C Dot situation where Moss came home and Ab and OBH they already they had the they had the city rolling. So C Dot first appearance was when he did the interview when um this is when like Erna was still interviewing, doing like the interviews and stuff as far as through the OBH camp. And that was one of the biggest interviews because this was at the time with the, you know, the Meek Mall, the, I'm my fault, the Meek Mill um, blackballing obligations, you know what I mean? And that was a joint with Leek Moss and then C-Dot was right there. That was like his introduction. But C-Dot was really hot, you know what I'm saying? And, and he had like a, a nice solid flow, you know. He has like a nice solid flow. You know, he ain't, he ain't losing a bit because he still went off on the, on the um interview I did with him and if y'all y'all ain't check that out, check that out. But I'm telling him like, dang bro, like what's up with you? Like, we need to hear some more music. What's been going on? So one of the main things he was always pressing was, you know, I just be, you know, trying to hold my family down. You know, he's a father. He he's a, you know, a twenty four seven father. So he was always big on, you know, taking his children, taking care of his children and you know, pretty much he was pressing that. So God's willing, he can come home and, and, and you know, nothing comes his way. So he can continue to, to care for his family and things of that nature, man. But definitely make sure y'all go show him some love on the grand, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to C-Dot, bro. My condolences again. Get well soon, bro. Um, Like I said, from the looks of things, he seemed to be in stable condition, man. But y'all already know how I carry it, man. This is SV Twiz, the hub blogger. Make sure y'all stay tuned, man. You know what I'm saying? The new film is, is in the making and getting started. We're going to start shooting that joint around October-ish, like end of October-ish and all of that. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, man, SV Twiz, the hub blogger, keeping everybody posted, man. Everybody stay safe out there, man, in the hoods around the world, even if you live in the suburbs. You know what I'm saying? It, it goes down everywhere, man. So be safe, man. You know, live every day like it's a chance of it being your last day. You know what I'm talking about? But this SV Twiz, the hook blogger, y'all know how I carry it, man. I'm about this joint, though.